All right, I'm uh, it's a handful of tilapia around here. I'm not expecting to really catch anything. I'm just going to demonstrate in this little area here. But, uh, anyway, today I am using this. This isn't actually exactly what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I was expecting one of the bigger ones. There's a bigger one that's almost the exact same thing. It's got two trebles on it. It's probably three or four inches long. It's the exact same thing as this. You see them all over the place for three or four dollars. I got this one thinking that's what it was, but I wasn't paying attention. And it's actually a five centimeter one. It's a lot smaller and it's about three or four dollars. But in actuality, this one's probably going to work better out in this area. It's a little bluegill pattern. And uh, I think it's going to work better in this area. It's definitely got a good movement. It swims kind of sideways flutters a little bit sinks sinks pretty balanced that works i think this one's gonna work better than the one i was actually trying to buy uh anyway i'll post a link to it down below it's gonna i'm using my lightweight gear today kind of swims on its side a little bit there i don't like that let it sink all the way down But I think as long as it's got that movement, okay, now it's swimming normal. It really does have a good movement to it. And uh, just like the bigger one, and I've seen some at Bass Pro that are like this, it's actually, the joints, there's actually a piece of cloth running through each one. Maybe you can see a little bit right there. But um, yeah, it's held together by a piece of cloth. That's why it's got such a good movement. All right, now I'm going to move... Uh, a little further down and see if there's a spot where I can actually catch something. I don't think there's any fish in this area. All right, this is usually a good little hot spot over here. I'm really looking for just one, one fish and I would consider this a success. That's a bite. There's two bites right there. Yeah, there's a bass following it there. He just nibbled at it. He didn't take it. There we go. It's just a little one pulling drag though. It's a nice little guad. Is it? Oh no, that's a tilapia. It's a good sized tilapia. Look at that. I thought it was gonna be a bass. Look at that. Is a, this is a giant tilapia, really. There we go. And the uh, Bait works. There we go. There we go. I can't believe something this big took it. This is a big tilapia. If I had a way to carry it home, I probably would. You know what? Now, let me take a picture of him real quick. There we go. Got me a nice tilapia. Now, release him here. He's gone. I didn't even see which way he went or she went. Of all the tilapia I've, I've caught, that's it's only the second one that's gone after an artificial bait. The other one was after a little shrimp. So some of these cheap Chinese baits do seem to work. It wasn't a bass, but that was a pretty good fish. All right, well, everything that seems to be chasing it right now is tilapia. Oh, I got something now. What is this? I was talking about the tilapia, and here we go with the bass. This is my lightweight rig, so I got the drag set pretty loose. Here we go. 
this is probably about a pound and a half. Look at that. He just took the whole thing right in. See how that's hooked on there? Man. Got him in the tongue. Might have to get my pliers out for this guy. This is a almost two pounds. I wouldn't say he's two pounds. But he's he's almost there. And he choked this thing. It went he got it all in the tongue. <laughs> there we go. There we go, it works. I was just talking about the other fish and I'm like the second second cast after that last one I got this one. This one's probably probably about a pound and a half, which is pretty good for this river. They don't usually get too much bigger than this. I should have taken a picture of him too, but nope. Alright, so now I got a tilapia and a nice little largemouth. And I'm just using my lightweight, my pan fishing pole here. So they're putting up a pretty good fights. I would say this lure is a success. Both of them just inhaled it. And I'm really getting steady. I'm not really slowing it down too much unless I take my hand off for a second like that. But I'm also giving it little twitches as I'm reeling it in just so it's got a little bit extra movement. But it's real subtle. I'm not trying to get it to get, have too much movement. Just enough. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? There we go. Third species right here. This is a bluegill. Oh, and he slipped off. He got away. But... Yeah, I don't know if you saw that there, but I just had a bluegill take this. So this is a this is a pretty solid lure. I mean, fish of all sizes are going after it. All sizes and all species seem to be going after this thing. The tilapia is the most surprising. Oh, look at that snake! That snake coming right up on me right here. Get out of here. <laughs> He's trying to sneak up on me there. Thought he was actually chasing some of these fish, but he came up and was staring me down. Oh, come on. Take it. Oh, I just had a bite. I had a serious bite there. Look, there's that snake again. He's coming right up at me. Get out of here. He's still right there. Look at that. He's coming at me. Man, get out of here. He's he's went around and started coming back towards me again. He's still sitting down right in this little spot here. I gotta keep my eye on him. I don't think that's a venomous snake. I think that's just a regular water snake, but it's weird that he's acting like that. Oh, oh, come on finally had a decent bite and I'm distracted by the snake all right you know maybe maybe I'm standing on top of the snake's home so it's time for me to I'm gonna move over a little bit because he's I've never had a snake come at me like that usually you know, spook him away and that's it this one came at me three times <laughs> and it, it was not a water moccasin or anything I think it's just a regular water snake 